Can I just ask you guys if anyone here feels like I've bullied them in any way? No, no. absolutely Because not. Nicole just told Colton that I bully every single person in the house. Nicole said that me blowing my whistle and calling everyone bitches on the first night was me bullying everyone. She says I've been like out to get her since the first night. Apparently I talk over her every single time she talks in group settings. It's true. But you said I bully every person in the house. Not a single person can say that I bullied them, except for you. Well, I guess like none of you realize that she's been bullying me. Okay, so Nicole, right you said I bullied you. Back it up. Hey, man. You okay? You feeling better? You seem pissed. Yeah. I don't know, I, I feel like I have other women here that are opening up and vulnerable, and then I have others that are throwing each other under the bus. That's not what we're here for. Do you even care about Colton? Then why are you so easily spreading lies to Colton? Like, if Nicole, you're so you willing saying, to ruin you your relationship. You keep saying spreading lies. The only person that's lied here is you. I kind of thought I was going to get a little bit more time with Colton tonight. But Onyeka and Nicole kept going at it about whatever Nicole brought up to Colton about Onyeka. I don't know. I don't really know. You put us in this situation. And now we are going to see what Colton thinks. That's it. That's all we can do now. I'm just over it. Anyeka and Nicole have dug their own grave at this point, and they need to go home. If losing both of them means I'm getting closer to Colton, then f it. Hi, everybody. It is time for the rose ceremony. Well, that sucks. I'm hopeful that Colton can have a clear head and clear mind at the rose ceremony, but I have no clue where his head's at with any of the women. So it's like, who could possibly go home? You know, tonight has been hard and emotional for me. But I know if I continue to follow my heart, I will find my wife. Kaylin. Kaylin, will you accept this rose? Of course. Tasha. Tasha, will you accept this rose? Without a doubt. Kerpa. Kerpa, will you accept this rose? Yes, absolutely. I came into this looking for love, and I'll just be like completely crushed if I have to go home after this rose ceremony. Demi. Demi, will you accept this rose? It's my greatest pleasure to accept this rose. Nicole is the only person that I truly question their integrity. Energy. So I would feel like absolutely if Nicole stayed and I went home. Yeah. Except this room. Yeah, so thank you so much. Katie. Accept this rose. Absolutely. Ladies, Colton, it's the final rose tonight. When you're ready.
Sydney. Sydney, will you accept this race? Yes, I will. Thank you. Anyeka, Nicole, I'm sorry. Take a moment, say your goodbyes. All the best. Thank you. I'm sad. Oh, this sucks so bad. I feel like me and him are really connecting, and like I was really excited to progress that more and like see where I could go. Rejection doesn't feel good, but if I'm gonna get rejected, I'm happy I got rejected to not Nicole. <laughs> Give your brother a hug for me, okay? I will. I will. I definitely will. Good luck with everything. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I can't even describe how badly it hurts. I wish they didn't have to go down this way. I had a deep down feeling like this was a possibility because when Yuka put me like in such a bad situation, I just felt like there was no turning back. I came here so ready, looking for love, and I just saw so many amazing qualities in Colton. Like, I don't know, it's just like hard to find like love in my life. Like, it's hard. At least, you know, I can feel kind of good that Anyeka's gone. <laughs>